Step number one, buy a human being. Dan Decimus has the most strength, he's my guy. Now we make him fight to the death for our profit. There's a reason I picked the guy with lots of strength. He's gonna walk right forward and take a fireball to the face. Uh, not really sure what he's up to at this point, so we're just gonna start attacking the old man with fire. Uh, so far we're not doing so good. Luckily this is what we call a practice gladiator, so maybe the next one will be better. You failed. You let a man die because of your naivety. I mean, I had a pretty good idea he was gonna die, I just don't care. So this time we're gonna buy Ivan for 30 gold. He has 8 strength. His other stats, 1 intelligence, is perfect. He's easy to manipulate. But we're also gonna outfit him with a stick and maybe even a cloth skirt. You know what, let's go all in on this very first idiot of ours. We have him all outfitted, that put his attack up to 11. Alright, then I guess we'll just send him straight back into battle. Oh, we're fighting our twin. I guess let's take a step back to let the enemy make the first move, because I know if I step into him I'm going to get hit. Well, I guess it's inevitable. Perfect, he's in range. Hit chance, 84%. We took off 10 of his health. Oh, we can just brawl this one out. Our idiot's definitely going to win. Probably going to take some uh, hurt, but that's okay. We can probably fix him up. If not, we'll just buy a new person. Keep hitting him. Oh, he's down to 1 HP. We got this. Oh, where's my attack? Oh, we need to recover stamina. I didn't realize that was a thing. Anyways, you're dead. Give me some money. Oh, he's got to fight again? I wouldn't have given him so much gear if I knew he was just going to die eventually. That guy doesn't even come armed with any weapons. Let's take a step back and make him come to us. Perfect. Not really. He's not hitting very hard, so we'll go ahead and keep hitting him with our stick. I do need to keep an eye on my stamina this time, but I'm pretty sure we can take this guy because he's already down to half health. He had to recover stamina, so we'll do the same. We'll take a little breather mid-fight to the death. I would like more damage though. These battles take too long. I don't mind them suffering so much, but I'm just a busy person. Okay, I guess we won. We got $84. Using that money, I'm going to buy a wooden dummy to help our gladiators training. They're going to train 50% faster. We're also going to teach him how to recover HP. If we give him enough HP, that 20% could make a big difference. And since he needs a few days to rest, let's buy another idiot. This one's got pretty good strength and endurance. The other stats are probably fine. He's only $34. And because he has no gear at all, we're probably going to put him um, onto uh, one of these tasks. Okay, rescue a shipment is all he can do. That's fine. He has a 73% success rate. He's going to make me $98. So, on to the next day. Ivan Maximus is fully recovered and ready to fight again. Idiot was also successful, so we have $98. We're back in business. But Lawrence here is going back out to do uh, whatever. 95% success rate. Get out there. I'm not going to pay you to do nothing. I'm also maybe going to give him some different weapons. We have a wooden club here, which is better than a stick. It's basically a stick plus something else for only $6. I've also bought him some leather pauldrons. That's just going to help give him a little more armor. So he's up to 11 attack and his HP is 50, armor 11. This time he's fighting a guy that's got a uh, two-handed. I don't need to recover HP. I'm going to have to step right into him. That's fine. He didn't actually do that much damage. We did a lot more to him. Thanks to all of our armor and shield, I think we're going to be able to take these guys on fairly easily. Eventually, I'm going to have a super gladiator who's just going to tear through everyone. And we're fighting my twin once again. He's got to step into me, so we nope. get the first swing. But we missed. That's all right. This guy's definitely a little bit tougher, but we can recover HP if we need to. And he's going to run out of stamina first because he has a two-handed weapon. So right now, we're going to hit him one more time. Oh, we, we actually killed him with that one. Great. It must have been a critical hit. Now we have $137, which means I can take a few uh, dollars to teach him Heavy Jab, which is going to stun an opponent for a turn. Since he has to rest for a few days anyway, he can work on his skills. Two days to go. Yeah, I'm also going to buy a really cheap uh, David for $27, because I can just use him as a henchman for a gang. Uh, he's got a 63% success rate. That's probably fine. Uh, David has already failed us, and that was the end of our week, so we had to pay our wages. We're down to $17. David better start making some money. Okay, David is currently incapable of doing much of anything, so we're back to Ivan to carry the load. And because I'm out of money, I'm just going to skip one more day. And someone just showed up to fight me, so we're going to fight. We're against Lurdus. Uh, luckily for me, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Okay, he knocked me back. That's kind of mean. So hopefully he moves into range. Okay, I'm just going to hopefully pull him in. I gotta step forward now. You can't go back any further. That's a really powerful spear. So we're gonna hit you with that. I'm gonna have to recover some HP. Uh, we're gonna hit you one more time, then recover HP. Or maybe one more. 
So far, actually pretty good. He's got to step into me now, so I think I can actually just use this to recover HP. He's got to step into me anyways. Or he's going to hang out over there and do that. So we're going to rest. Oh, he can hit me from there. I didn't realize that was a thing. That's going to be dangerous. One more hit and he should be dead though. So, gotcha. Oh, one more hit. Gotcha now. Uh, we got plus one renown, so I think he's going to be worth more and more money to fight eventually. That was only worth $50 though, which isn't great. I guess David's not doing much of anything though. We could send him into battle with a stick and uh, whatever that is. For poor David here, I've also uh, swapped him out a helmet, so he's got a little bit of stats going. So I don't know, we're just going to send David to the arena. He's either going to make me some money or he's going to die and no longer cost me money. Uh, my first move is basically just to rest, then the other gladiator has to walk into me. Then I can hit him. First hit's on me. I thought it was going to do more damage than that, and I think I'm stunned because he heavy jabbed me. So this battle might not go as well as I'd hoped. But it's all up to David now. He does have to recover stamina, so if I get a lucky critical hit, we might be okay. If not, we might be pretty boned. I won't miss David, though. He was never my favorite. Bye, David. Okay, David's actually alive, but he's going to take four days to come back into action. My other idiot's tired for two days. So we're just going to rest for a couple days because I don't have the money to keep going. So we're going to send in Ivan, our superstar, to get back to work. We need to defeat two opponents, and this guy didn't even bother to bring himself a weapon. So I'll walk right into him. Oh, he heavy jabbed me. That was smart on his part. But I think we can actually... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. That might cost us a lot. All right, well, let's hit him to see how much damage we can do to him. Okay, this battle is not going to go our way because uh, he's going to run out. So let's hit him finally and uh, see how much damage we can actually do to him. He stunned me, which is a fair play on his part. So let's do the same to him and stun him for a second. Okay, now I can hit him again kind of freely. No, never mind. We're going to have to recover more HP now. Uh, never mind. I didn't realize I had to wait turns for that. That's okay, because I think we're actually going to die here because I kept hitting the wrong thing. Though he had to res. Come on, critical hit. And we're stunned. Uh, wow, he's got a lot of defense. I didn't realize that was so good. Please say it already didn't die. He's still breathing. But it's going to be a few days before I can do anything. But I'm going to take this stuff off of David for a second. Because I'm actually just going to sell David. He's wounded anyway, so best of luck to him there. I just didn't want to run out of money. Okay, I've paid my weekly wages. I've skipped ahead to where Ivan is back recovered again. This guy was successful, so there's $105. Back up to $125. So I'm going to buy the leather skirt because I think that's better armor. Then I'm going to buy you because you seem to have good stats. Because I mostly just want to send you away somewhere to make me money. Rescue a shipment, 73% success rate. Don't let me down, whatever your name is. Lawrence is also going to go make me some money. He's got a 63% success rate. Ivan is going to get some better armor. Then he's going to get back in there to fight again, but this time we're not going to do it wrong. We're going to have to eat a hit there, but now we're ready to go. So right away, we're just going to stun this guy. I think he blocked that. We really need to stop getting blocked. That's not great. Okay, can we start hitting someone? We're going to need to start doing more damage. He's not very good at hitting people, which is a shame because that's literally his job. So let's recover some HP real quick, which helped us out. And then we got to recover some stamina also. Then we just need to hope to do more damage than he does to us for the next few minutes. So I'm going to try and stun him now because we need to stun him or I'm not going to be able to do anything anyway. Okay, he's stunned, so we get another hit. Uh, it's either that or we got to recover HP, which... Hopefully that keeps us alive for an extra turn. That was maybe the wrong thing to do. Come on, big damage. Nope, I think we're in trouble. Wait, he's got to recover. So, big hit. I think we can actually, like, run away if I was reading that correctly. And now we're too far away, so we can't actually really do anything here. So I'm just going to rest. I think he can hit me from there, though. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Good job, idiot. Way to die on me again. He's going to be out for five days. And Lawrence failed. He had like an 80% success rate and he failed. It's an utter and complete failure. Caesar here got me $100. He knows how to do it. Lawrence for his failure is going to go fight whoever this is for 20 to 30 gold. It can't be that hard of a fight. And I'm even going to give him a quarter staff because that's pretty cheap. And I guess I have this spare armor. I might as well put it to some kind of use. This guy should be more our speed right now. We have an 86% chance to hit, and of course he misses. He's got the worst luck in the world. Maybe I should replace him. Though he did block an attack, so that's something. And we're not taking that much damage in return, so I think we'll actually be okay here. He's just gonna have to get beaten with his stick a little bit. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Recover some stamina. Should be one more hit after this, as long as we don't get parried. 
he's dead. Then we're gonna send uh, Ovidu into battle also, and they're just kind of gonna have to share armor. I feel like this is pretty much gonna be the same thing again. Oh yeah, this guy's really weak compared to us. We didn't even need to give him all this armor. One more hit and you're gonna die. We barely took any damage. An easy $28. Today was pretty profitable. Uh, but also all of my idiots are gonna be out for a few days. Can we just skip ahead to- yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take something of a risk here and, uh, do the herbs concoction so my gladiators recover one day quicker. That costs $150. Okay, now we're just gonna send Lawrence back into battle. We should be able to fight a guy like this fairly easily. Our hit percentage is 80%, so wow, two in a row. Lawrence is not very lucky. We gotta work on his, like, everything. Uh, I think we could probably just straight up slug it out with this guy, hopefully. I gotta teach all my guys healing, though. That's one thing we are lacking. Uh, we did manage to, uh, dodge a shot there, so I think we're, yeah, we're basically gonna take this over. It's a bit of a war of attrition. But one more hit, and he should be dead. We're gonna recover one, but then we gotta hit him. I can see how all the different stats do matter now, not just strength. Uh, and I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be having one of these clicked the entire time because I'm pretty sure they train that every day as they're going. Kind of missed out on a lot of stats. So he's down here working away, uh, increasing his skills. So I need Ivan doing the same. We just need to figure out what we want to increase for him. Maybe just vitality. I think you're going to turn him into a bit of a tank. So they're both out there working away. Once we have a bit of a surplus of money, then we can start to build up their stats again however we want. Uh, for now, I need a bit of money, though. Uh, this fight was closer than I thought it would be. Normally, these are not that hard, so these might be getting harder. But thanks to what I built, the gladiators do recover quicker, so I should be able to get into battle and then have them recover, get the stats better, and keep going. This should be an easy fight. And you're dead. So now they're both tired for one whole day, which is perfectly fine. We rest for a day, their stats are going to start to climb. Since we've got some extra money, uh, let's maybe buy someone new. This guy's got 10 endurance. Interesting. I'm just kind of hoping I can send him somewhere uh, quickly. There's only a 63% success rate. This takes two days, but it's better, so I'm going for that one. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good system going. If I just keep fighting these weak guys and slowly upgrading stats, we'll, uh, we'll make some money, we'll get ahead of the curve. And then we'll go to the bigger arena to fight bigger idiots. And Idiot has returned from his two-day journey to make me 100 gold. So we're going to send him right back out again. Two days for potentially 98 gold. He'll be fine. And since I have saved up a little bit of money, I'm going to uh, increase 50% extra training speed. So they're hopefully going to learn their stuff much quicker, while well, their stats will increase quicker. A few days of grinding later, Idiot's back again with another $100. Everyone's stats are getting better. $220 to our name. We're going to send him out to find another shipment. Same stats. Uh, I'm also going to get cotton beds for $55, which means we can house another Idiot. This guy seems nice and balanced, plus he has two intelligence, so he's an intellectual. Which means we're going to send him out on this. He's going to be gone for an entire week for $105. I don't know if that's worth it. Pretty good success rate though, so whatever. Uh, a few more days later, another $100 some idiot who we're going to turn around and send right back on the road wherever I can. I'm going to put him as henchman for a gang. Uh, it's low odds, relatively speaking, but only one day. And I think with all this grinding and extra stats, we're ready to send Ivan back to the big battle. And this is an optimistic start. I'm actually going to sit here and rest and let him come to me. Now that he stepped in, I can use my heavy jab to stun him. Then he can't do anything. Then I'm going to hit him with my new skill, a steady strike, which does 1.5 damage and is unblockable. So I have him down one third of his health and he hasn't even touched me with his mittens yet. There's a few hits, but as you can see, we have the advantage here in a big way. He's already trying to recover stamina, which we're going to have to do pretty soon, but uh, we're definitely in a comfortable lead here. Plus, I can already hit him with heavy jab again, which means he's sitting here very vulnerable. We can recover stamina. Then we could probably just about finish him off. We still need more damage. So I'm going to step forward because he has to step forward, and then it's the same strategy again. Stun, and then just keep hitting him with everything. Okay, he can recover health though. I just hit him with both of my initial skills, same way we opened last time, and he took health back. He doesn't hit very hard though, it looks like, so that's where we have the advantage here. We're armored. He is pretty annoyingly hard to hit though, like we keep missing with a lot of our shots. So let's do that one again, and he blocked it. Well, he can't block this one. So we'll hurt him there, and then we'll continue to do what we do. It took a while, but we whittled him down. And we're oh, back no. to the fiery moron. I'm not entirely sure of his range, so I'm going to sit here. Hopefully he has to step into me. Maybe one more time. Can he reach me? No, let's just get in his face now. So he hits me with fire. That hurts. So we'll stun him. We're burning, but he doesn't seem to have a lot of armor. Like, we really hit him for a lot of damage when we hit him. 
So we're just going to hopefully tank right through him because I don't know what that fire is going to do to me. One more hit. Okay, I think we actually can beat him right here. Yep, need armor, old man. That was worth $80 and we received a fire stick. I've also just realized I might have a pretty fun strategy. So instead of sending a uh, Lionel, whatever his name is, I'm going to actually just going to increase his vitality for a while. He's going to sit here and train vitality. That's all he's going to do. And while he's slowly building up that, we're going to get some new weapons for our idiots. I'm probably just going to buy two iron axes uh, because they're going to do the most damage. So real quick, let's try out this extra uh, axe damage. Yeah, that's taken off big bites. That was about a quarter of his health. And it doesn't seem to use up too much of this guy's stamina. So this will be a good, that was almost all of his health. I'm also going to increase training speed by 50% as we're grinding through time. And I've also just bought a little bit of new gear for my favorite Ivan. So he's going from 4 armor helmet to a 6 armor helmet. Still grinding away, but I'm going to buy the ox cart. Minus 1 days uh, of traveling when moving to arenas. Okay, so the reason I've been increasing my vitality on all of my idiots was because they all now have Mantra, which is a very low level skill, but uh, it recovers 20% of your maximum HP. So the more HP you have, the more powerful this very basic skill gets. So I basically just tried to give them as much HP as possible. That way when they need to heal, they will heal th uh, through basically any damage that comes at them. That strategy could be used for any of these skills to give you a plus 20% stat boost. But I think we're ready to give this a try. Let's try the next arena, which is going to give us lots of money with Ivan. This looks different. We're just going to rest and let him take a step toward us because he's got a longer range in us. Now we can step into him. First move. He stunned us so he gets another hit, but that's exactly what we're going to do to him. Now we're going to stun him, which hits him pretty hard. Then we're going to hit him with the big 150% uh, damage. He heals up a little bit, but we continue to uh, pick away at him. We've got way more armor. We've got way more health. We've got the same stamina, but he's dead. So far, we haven't needed to heal. When we do heal, though, we'll get 18 HP back so far. Never really fought a guy like this, so I'm just going to rest and let him come to us. Then we get the first hit, which is going to be a stun. Then, as per usual, we follow that up with a big hit. Now he can start to hit us, so he stunned us. He's going to hit us again. Nope, he pushed us back. So while we're sitting here, let's actually just heal up. Again, I'm not going to walk into him because he's just going to hit us right away. He can come to us. All of our whoops meant to hit the attack. That's fine. We can play with our food a little bit. Not that we're going to eat him, but given a choice, I probably actually would. Wow, he managed to block that. And he's going to stun us and he's going to hit us again probably. No, he's going to recover stamina because he's weak. Okay, can we hit this guy? That shield is really annoying. Thank you. That was $162 plus one renown. I also decided to change up my weapon for this guy. So he's just going to sit there and wait for Idiot to come to him. This is just going to give us more opportunity for defense and blocking. He's already really like tanky. So this is only going to do him some favors. And we still do the same damage, which is hilarious. So I can just be really tough while also taking basically no damage and potentially blocking a lot of attacks anyway. So this should be a pretty hard fight, but we did it. We still had 67 HP, which is lots. So that means another victory is another $150 plus one renown. And then for a modest $378, we get another plus 50% training speed. So that's getting ridiculous. Okay, I battled far enough in that now I'm fighting whatever this guy is. He hooked me with his hook, so we're going to give him a stun. He's got 100 health, so he's actually going to be a little bit tough to defeat. This was a big step up in difficulty. He did just hit me for 16 damage, which is a little bit alarming because that's a really big hit. But then he was smart enough to push me away. I think he's probably going to pull me back in, but I'm happy to just wait out here for him because he can't hurt me. And there we go. Now I can just stun him again so he doesn't do anything for a turn. Uh, it's going to be a little bit before we get our uh, anything back. So we're just going to sit here and hit him for now. And he's eventually going to die. Plus, I do have some potions and stuff I can use if I want to heal or get some stamina. I just don't think it's going to be necessary because, well, he really only hits us once in a while anyways. As long as he doesn't do anything too bad here. Can we hit him? Whoa, we, I didn't realize he healed. We will also heal a little bit then, uh, because I do need to hit him, like, right now. Can we stun hit him? Okay, he can't do anything for a sec, but neither can we. Oh, this is actually going to be really close. Should I use... We have a 78% chance. Yeah, we got this. Another victory for us, $156. Plus, we received a butcher's hook. And someone just challenged me to a fight. Yes. So, we're fighting someone with 90 health. Uh, I know that range, so if we sit here, they can't hit us yet. I'm gonna let them come straight to us. There we go. Now we stun you. Oh, they blocked that. Okay, so far they're doing plenty of damage. 
that was at extra damage too, so this is going to be quite a fight. Didn't expect them to be this strong. They can even heal up too, which isn't super good for us. So I'm going to do the same. Get some health back. Okay, they're hitting really, really hard. We do have some potions we can still rely on if need be, which we're probably going to have to. I did this, stun them for a nice hit. Uh, we do need some stamina though, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't realize you had to put the items into their inventory, so that's not overly great. I figured you could just use them from anywhere. So we're definitely going to be in trouble. Unless we get some very, very good luck. Really wish I had my potions and stuff. That would have made all the difference in the world. I think we could have won this. Uh, because we have made it as far as we have, we're starting to get some new armors. Uh, and definitely new weapon that does 11 damage. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I also bought Lawrence here some new claws that are going to do a lot of damage. So we'll get to test those out in just a second. So first of all, we're going to stun this guy. Uh, which, uh, fine. Then we're going to hit him with the claws. Okay, we still, even when he blocks, we get to hit because I think we have two weapons. So that's good, but I want a clean hit on him. Yeah, that does plenty of damage. That's going to be real fun. And we're getting some more high value quests. Uh, he can't quite do this one, but that would be only two days for $235. Instead, we're going to send him away for five days for $185. Okay, now that Idiot Stick is finally back alive from his defeat, we're going to the private tournament way up here. And we finally get to use that big sword, but look at those stats. Suddenly I'm less confident than I was a minute ago. So we're going to wait right here because I don't know if he can reach me from far away with that. Okay, we both lost health. I'm still going to sit right here and wait for him. He's getting lots of stuff happening over there all by himself. Finally, he wants to step forward and get this started. Depending on what that is, I need to be close to kind of mitigate the damage. So to start, I'm going to hit him with a stun, which took a big bite out of him. Then I'm also going to use chip armor, which removes 20% of his armor, plus hits him. He seems to stop to think about that for a sec, so I'm going to hit him with the sword now. We're going to exchange some health again. I'm going to heal up just a little bit because I get 20 health back by doing that. And I'm actually winning this fight currently. I'm just not really sure how much damage he's going to do to me over time. But uh, so far it looks like we do have this slight advantage. We're also going to see if we can take more of his armor away. I do need to recover some stamina and this is going to be a bit of a risk. But I'm going to heavy jab him. Then hopefully hit him again and he dies. Oh, this isn't going to work. I'm going to use a small potion just in case because I worry he was going to be able to hit me too hard. Then I'm going to get some stamina back. Okay, I could have got away without the potion then considering that. This guy's similar to me. He's got claws. Uh, for now, I'm literally just going to wait for him to come to me because I want the first hit. Okay, he came in, so let's do our heavy jab. So he's stunned. He has way less health and stuff, so I'm much happy about this one. Then we're going to take some of his armor away. I think we still got his armor for that, then a big hit. He pushed us back, which is fine because that gives us a chance to get some health back while we wait for him to make his way over, and then we're going to do that. So we basically recover our stats. He didn't gain anything by pushing us. I hit the wrong thing again. That's fine. I'm sure we'll still win this mostly, though that's starting to do a lot of damage. That's uh, kind of worrying me suddenly. He did just shove me back again for some reason. Okay, that stun didn't work. I'm going to use one of these again. I really need to start hitting him. Okay, we're getting low on stuff again, so we're going to use that to heal us up. Then we're going to have to hit him with something. This might do a lot. Perfect. He's almost out of health. We just need a little more stamina. Then we just need to hit him lightly. Doesn't have to be much of anything. Heavy jab. Got him. Now we get to fight an old man with claws. But he also has only 80 HP, so I'm hoping I can use that to my advantage. So we're going to do the usual. We're going to hit him with a heavy jab to start. That did pretty good damage to him. Then we're going to take off uh, some of his armor. Since he was kind enough to push us back, we'll just get some of our health back and recharge a little bit. He's also doing the same, though. I still feel like that's all to my advantage, though. That was a big hit to him. He doesn't seem to have a lot of armor, so we should be able to tear through him fairly quickly. Uh, if I could actually land some of these hits, I would be doing tons of damage to him. I'm going to use this while I still can, because he's probably going to start hitting me again. Nope, he's going to heal himself, because he likes to copy me. That's okay, we'll get through him. I'm going to do something pretty risky here and hopefully stun him. Nope, so we got to use one of these then to heal myself up. Our health is about equal now. I'm going to do one of these again. Hopefully his stamina runs out because I'm running out of everything. Okay, well, I've just got to use a small tonic. Hopefully he just doesn't hit me. He hit me. We're doing so good. Uh, and this guy literally died now, so he's gone, which is pretty annoying. I just couldn't hit that guy. So we'll get better gear next time.